Hey guys, Scott from Aristocop.com here. And Seth from Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. And together, the three of us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome to Tobacco Advent Day 2, Tobacco Advent 2015 to be exact. Morning, boy. Good morning, Homer. Good morning to everyone at home. Good morning to you. Hey, just a quick reminder, we not only have a Tobacco Advent episode today, but we also have a full Markwood Men's Breakfast Club episode today, so don't miss that. And if you saw that already, hey, welcome back. Good to see you. <laughs> so let's uh, get to smoking. Yeah. So uh, our cornament number dos will be going out along with the official uh, Markerman's Breakfast Club Tobacco Advent sticker. Um, you know, that your, was not my idea. Your, your wife asked and me. And that picture if, was not my idea. Your wife asked me if that's waterproof and you could put it on a car. I said, well, I'm sure you could stick it on a car. I do not think it's waterproof. Good. It's probably not UV proof either. So it's, you know, stick it in your shop or throw it away. Put it on eBay, whatever you like. All right. Oh, I know what this one is. All right. All right, number two. This is from... This is from Caden. Caden. Caden Bolton. This is Cream Moon 5050 Colt Blood Red Moon and GL Peas, Peas Virginia Cream. Uh, that sounds interesting. Who's that? Okay. Hello, Scott. Uh, Caden, I, I don't know if you have an <laughs> accent, but you do today. In, in Hello, Seth, Scott. In Seth's this mind, is an extremely do. overdue package for sure. I cannot thank you enough for everything that you do for the YouTube bike community. As you know, I made my first video because of you. Oh, come on. Well, that's true. God. He entered a video contest. There's, I, there's not much space with this big head in the room. Hey, if you've seen his work, you would say, wow, this guy, he's good. I wonder who inspired him. What is that? <laughs> oh, that was the... That way, it's the it's the word uh, basically pelican backwards. Oh, the lichen pel. Lichen pel. You <laughs> you were and are an inspiration to me, and countless others. You are kind, interesting, interesting, and most of all, responsive to everyone that interacts with you online. I meant to get back with you about that. <laughs> I have great respect for you and all you do with uh, with us and your family. Even though I'm sending this package for Tobacco Advent 2015, it also includes a gift from me to you to say thank you for all that you do i made said gift months ago and i just never got around to sending it uh or finding your address but it is with you now it is my favorite piece so far and i hope you enjoy tell seth not to worry he will have something soon winky face <laughs> All right, so I didn't bring that with me to the shop. It's at home. It's, it's in a place of honor. He carved an owl. I posted a picture of it on Instagram. He carved an owl. And, and what I mentioned on Instagram was my mom collected owls when I was a kid, so they were everywhere in the house. And then we have a couple friends, not only uh, Skipsy here on YouTube, but uh, Ken Pratt's daughter, Amy, who's big time into owls too. So I immediately got comments on the Instagram mm. picture. Uh, and you did a wonderful job on that, Caden. I'm, I'm very impressed. So, go ahead and uh, pack it up, light it up, boy. Thank you for all you do, Scott, and for being a true pipe friend. I look forward to the day I get to meet you and possibly some of your beautiful family. Talk to you soon, and happy Thanksgiving slash Merry Christmas. Your friend, Caden. Unfortunately, my beautiful family doesn't hang around with me, so you maybe, maybe you'll meet boy sometime. Yeah, that is the truth. They are ashamed of the both of us. So what is this we're smoking? This is blood mo blood uh, creamsicle. That's it. Yeah, so it's it's a blend that he created. So again, you, you just put that down and forgot all about it. No, no, no. I, it I is fifty percent cult blood red moon. Cult is the brand, so blood red moon, and GLP's Virginia cream. So this is a sweet, delicious blend of Cavendish red and golden. Virginia's and Burley's flavors of natural royal and cherry, dark chocolate, and subtle vanilla and bourbon. Uh, topping have eloquently mixed in the tin for over a month. This blend is strong on the taste buds, yet gentle in the mouth. Blended by yours truly, the Vape and Piper. So I'm curious about something when you mentioned that. Have you, and this is not all you, universal you, 
Have you guys experimented with putting tobacco in a, uh, a mason jar and then putting it in the oven? What? It's, yeah, it's basically um, almost like the, the cabin dish process. But there are people who do that, who will take their tobacco, put it in a mason jar, and then heat it up and just keep it in the oven at a, at a low temperature for a long time. And it, it basically toasts the tobacco, which is something that you know, some tobaccos go through. Um, there are people that just take their favorite tobacco, they try it, and sometimes it turns out great and sometimes not great. I'm just curious if anybody has tried that. I know I haven't tried it. It's something I've wanted to do. So, anyway, that wasn't our question of the day. Our question of the day is... And again, we both still have our one veto. <laughs> if you could start a new silly Christmas family tradition, what would it be? And then, what about a non-silly tradition? What's the point of that? Okay, um, you go ahead, boy. A silly tradition. I got mine. Um, the tradition would be we would eat uh, taquitos and um, uh, Oreo cake pie while watching Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I thought you said silly tradition. <laughs> Half of those things bring back fond memories to boy. That, no, seriously, that would be, if I could get everybody committed to that, that would be the tradition. Taquitos with guacamole. Mm. Taquitos are the, like a rolled fried taco with the shredded beef. Mm. Awesome. Uh, Oreo cake pie, something that my son-in-law and I invented, also pretty awesome. And what's not to like about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Your th turn, boy. I think that... By the way, that's the answer to both questions. Yeah, I was going to say... That the, would the, be a non-silly tradition as well. The, the problem for me is what some people would view as a silly tradition is something that I would sincerely enjoy. Yeah. So, you know, for me... Like, um, I, I have found, as I have gone down the rabbit hole of nerddom, have found some really, really fun board games and some fun group games I really enjoy playing. Don't get as much opportunity to play as I, I would like, and certainly don't have many opportunities to play with my family. I would, I would enjoy doing that. Another thing for me would be, um, maybe more serious, would be ordering pizza um, it's, it, I understand family cooking together, but sometimes the meal, the pre preparation of the meal becomes such a distraction that you don't get to spend time with the family. And, and as we've discussed in the past, uh, quality time is such a high priority for me right. that, that it, it sometimes feels like that servitude is preventing the quality time. So, yeah, I mean, okay, that, that's interesting because, like, when we make taquitos, for example, that ties usually me, but it's often me and your mom. We're tied into the kitchen for quite some time because yeah. you're frying. Everybody eats a ton of taquitos, and um, you got you got to cook the meat, you got to roll the tortillas, you got to deep fry or not deep fry. We fry them in a pan. And you're only frying about, at best, five or so at a time. And uh, for a family as large as we are now, large as well as quantity large, um, it's a lot of work and a lot tied up in the, in the kitchen. So, all right, I don't disagree with that. So, you answer the question, all right? If you could start a silly Christmas tradition for your family, what would it be? And how about a serious one? Answer in the comments below or... Video, video comment, response. video response, and put the link in the comments below. That's it for today, I believe. Thank you for the tobacco. Thank you, Caden. Hey, guys, make it a great day. Visit us at the regularly scheduled Mark Men's Breakfast Club today, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow for day three of Tobacco Advent. Adios.